Okay, I gotta tell ya, this one doesn't look too promising. This pinky nude-like shade, no. Hey guys welcome back to my channel oh my gosh it's been so long i just needed to take a good month off and just recollect myself and now that i've done that i am back with another swatch video for those of you who are new here my name is shemaine and i do lipstick swatches and today's video is about lottie london i purchased these online at ulta at the time I went back to check if they were there and I did not see them unfortunately but these are the Lottie London Slay All Day Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick. They are available on Lottie London's website. There are like 16 shades available but uh, on Ulta at the time when I purchased them there were only six shades so I purchased six of them. I think there was like a good deal going on. That I couldn't pass up of course but these are the six shades that I purchased so there's a great variety there some pinks some nudes and you know I see a brown so without any further ado let's just jump into the details first of this liquid lipstick so I'm just gonna read that off of Lottie London's website so it says that the Lottie London Slay All Day Matte Liquid Lipsticks are velvety smooth, long lasting and smudge free. So rich in both color and comfortable texture, these matte lipsticks achieve all day pout perfection. So they are, they are available in a range of 16 adventurous shades. So it says that you can combine two of your favorite shades and create a fuller looking pout with, you know, the ombre effect. Um, and you can blend it out softly by patting your finger on your lips. These are also vegan, cruelty free and gluten free. So bonus, bonus, bonus points for that. And now we can finally get into the actual swatches of the lipsticks. So let's start with the first shade. First shade we're gonna start with is called Obsessed. First impression, it does have a perfumey scent to it. So we're gonna see if that goes away or not. So first impression of this doe foot applicator, it's a little stiff. I like to have a little flexibility in there just to, for it to move at the contours of my lip, but this is, yeah, it's a little stiff. I guess it could be a good neutral color if I just wear a darker lip liner with this, it could work out. Um, I do think it dries a little bit too quickly and as I look in the mirror in front of me, I can see the lines in my lips already so typically that's not a very good sign but usually the first impressions are a good indication of how it will fare off several hours from now the second shade up is called squad okay I gotta tell you this one doesn't look too promising. This pinky nude-like shade, no. Uh-uh. Hmm. See, I foresaw this happening. I knew this shade was gonna be casket ready from the time I swatched it. And it's just not applying right. It's, mm, do you see how patchy this is applying? And a part of the reason is because this lipstick dries very quickly. 
So before you even try to even it out, it has dried. And even if I try, let's try to pat it down a little bit. I just want to blot it to see if that will help. I don't think that helped very much. I can still see oh, some little patches in there. And not my favorite. I am looking forward to trying the other colors because this one is quite disappointing to say the least. Next shade up is called OMG. Uh, this still looks blotchy to me. It's just maybe it's just a formula. Sometimes quick drying formulas just aren't it. It doesn't work. And it's frustrating because the formula dries so quickly, it's hard to for me to get that pigment that I'm looking for. Ah, now it's starting to fade away from the middle here. <laughs> It's so hard to work with this formula, honestly. It's not the worst color. It's just that close up, it looks really bad. The fourth shade I have is this purple shade called Hun. Well, this shade isn't so bad. It's still not as pigmented as I would like, and you can still see some uh, blotchiness in the lipstick, but so far, this is a shade that I would definitely wear. I just wish it was a little bit more even across my lips. It's not the most flattering. There's something about the formula that just isn't working, I guess. The fifth shade up is called Low Key. The formula for this one feels so much more different than all the ones that I've swatched. It has that powdery texture. Um, it's super lightweight and the application was the best from all the shades that I've tried. It's a nice looking pinkish red. I can see like maybe some hints of orange in there. It's, this one had the best application hands down. And again, this shade is called Low Key. This is high key, the best one so far from my bunch. So clearly my lips are starting to get stained now, but good thing we are on shade number six. So lastly, and hopefully not leastly, we have the shade called Vibes. That was an easy application as well. So it looks like the last two shades were made with the same batch <laughs> because I am getting that same smooth application. It had a much smoother application across the board. I don't see any blotches or patches or um, lines that are emphasized on my lips. This is what I was asking for. And I had to wait until the fifth shade to experience a good 
application. That's just wrong on so many levels, but at least there were two. You know what I like about dark berry lipsticks is that the hard contrast just makes the white of my teeth just pop. Right? You can't say I'm lying. Anyways, let's just go ahead and do a little recap. So, it says that these are velvety smooth. I disagree. Uh, the velvety smooth ones were the last two shades that I swatched. I had a very challenging time applying the formula for the first four lipstick shades. They just dry down super quickly and because of that, it didn't create a smooth application for the next layer. So it would like tug because you know, it was dry and then it creates blotchiness, which is very unattractive. That's something that you never want, especially with a matte liquid lipstick. You don't want blotchiness or any sort of uneven uh, layers. Um, so yeah, I did not get velvety smooth for all lipsticks. Next is it's long lasting and smudge free. It's, it is long lasting, I can tell, because I also had to put a lot of effort in to remove this lipstick. And like I said, they dry very quickly and they're very hard to remove. So. As you can see there, there is nothing, nothing showing up. So they are transfer free, kiss proof, smudge free, and whatever else they call it when it doesn't transfer. So that part is true. Uh, rich in both color and comfortable texture. The color I could say could have used a little bit more it could have used a little bit more punch, a little bit more life to give you that vibrant, you know, effect. I noticed that the layers that I applied weren't very pigmented, so you will have to apply a few layers to get that color or pigmentation that you desire. But the tricky thing about that is that, like I said, the lipstick dries super quickly, and as you continue to apply more layers, then it starts to appear a little bit more blotchy and it just goes from one issue to another so um yeah i didn't think they were that pigmented next up is comfortable texture i agree the texture is very lightweight it reminds me of a powdery or powder to matte type of lipstick that's what i got from it it feels like there is nothing on my lips it feels absolutely lightweight um yeah and comfortable um these matte lipsticks achieve all day pout perfection mm, i am a little skeptical about that because normally when something dries super quickly it it's very quick to crumble throughout the day as well um, that's just from my experience. Obviously, I haven't worn these for a very long time, so I couldn't tell you really how how they wear, but you know, that's just something that I can infer from my experiences with quick drying matte lipsticks. But that is my review um, on the Lottie London's Slay all the lipsticks. This was my first Lottie London purchase, so um, I really am not familiar with their products, but this is just my first impression. So yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead, give me a like, subscribe, and um, I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Stay safe out there.